the water continues to rise here and uh, we're very concerned now that um, because the water is about eight feet up and as you see there it is at our landing which gives us only about another seven feet to go and we're not at high tide yet and I pray certainly that uh, my neighbors who had planned on staying that they didn't stay uh, because they are in a house that is a normal house. Our house is built on stilts. Our house is 15 feet up. So we're going to walk around more to the other side. Now our lanai in the back here, which is pretty scary that uh, the waves are raging and water is actually coming up to that point where it could make it to the inside if it comes up any further. We're literally in the ocean. And, oh, goodness gracious, we are just over Casarina Bridge in an area called Pine Bay. And we are on a cul-de-sac, so water is all around us. And I'm able to catch this view because we have hurricane impact windows. There goes a chair floating by. Uh, about half an hour ago, we had a container, a shipping container, a large shipping container just float on a property that somebody was building on. It just floated by. We heard a big bang. We had no idea what it was until we saw it going floating by. Our garage door, we just saw that floating out. And now I'm going on to the other part of the house. And this is deep ocean in our yard. This is the real deal. Far beyond anything we've ever imagined or ever experienced. So we're praying for high tide to hurry up and come so that the water won't raise, rise any higher. And this will most likely be my last broadcast as my batteries are, I have to preserve some of the battery. But if anyone's decided to stay home, um, I don't know, it would be very difficult, hard to imagine them being able to leave with lives intact. It's, it's, this is really rough. And we just pray that it will speed up and just go on its way. Well, I suppose if I give kudos, I have to give kudos to BTC for having their network up so that I can actually do this and so that we can communicate with each other. Just pray for us that the water does not rise up anymore. So you can see there from our rear stairs how the water is just battering because you got the wind and the water together. You can see it 
just pounding onto the onto the landing there. That landing is about eight feet up. This looks like a some some wood floating from probably from the construction project that the shipping container that went floating by came from. I'll upload that. I did that as a separate video. This is unbelievable. Hey Danny, I see you. Be happy you're not here. <clears throat> And Janet Aubrey, I see you there. This is what you left behind. I see Candace Porter on here too. Uh, no, you don't have this in Chicago. You left all this behind. But you do have super cold winters. <clears throat> I'm guessing that we may end up with water if it doesn't reach the point where it's going to pour over, it's going to come up from underneath. And you can hear me splashing as I go by. So that's the um, water that seeped in through the windows because the windows weren't sealed when they were put in. I don't know why that happened. Okay, for now it looks like the water is still at the same height. And you can hear the ferocious wind. It's unending. Some people, um, 
um, the water just took them, and those are the only people that got to make it over there. Some people didn't get to make it. Um, everyone, I'm actually up, please. My baby's only four months old. He doesn't know nothing, please. Let's pray for us. Watching the water, just the ocean, I should say, just flowing in. All the water from the region center flowing in. Look at the cars at prostitution building, region center. Look at the cars underwater. Water almost up to the windshield of the car. This is what we're dealing with at headquarters, folks.
Yeah. Flooding everything now. That's Ken Muller's yard over there. That's the top of the white truck. Car, vehicle. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it from my point. It's bad.